What's going on guys? I just want to do a short video here, as short as possible, of the installation of the Boondocks landing gear on my Hobie uh, PA-14. I was kind of looking on YouTube for to get some inspiration and exactly see how it was done. And I had a very difficult time finding what I was looking for. So I thought I'd go ahead and make a video that would help you. And even if you don't have a Hobie PA-14, it still maybe give you an idea of what is involved in it and see if it's right for you. So let's get started. Okay, just wanted to do a quick checklist here of what came in the box. This is the Boondocks landing gear. You're gonna have the two wheels, of course. You've got the two legs. You've got the four clips that hook on to the wheels to keep them onto the legs. You have your two main brackets here. This is especially made for the Hobie, on which I'm installing on the Hobie PA. But I had to pay extra for this to get the Hobie kit. So if you have a Hobie, be sure to get the the Hobie kit especially. If not, they've got two different size bars that can fit most all other kayaks. Here's your two bottom plates that will actually fit underneath, under your kayak. You've got your two spacers and then the nuts and bolts and then you have the two, the two clips here. We'll be showing them in more detail later. So that's pretty much everything out of the box. So there's not that much to it. So we're about to get started. Went ahead and took the liberty to, you've got to take out this hole, this bolt in here rather. I went ahead and took it out earlier with an Allen wrench, it just screws right out because it's actually going to mount right in here and go perfectly across here. So you're going to have to take this off to be able to fit them black plates under there. Okay, to kind of get a preview of what, I haven't drilled any holes yet, but I just kind of set everything up. I left on this side over here, I put the wheel down. And then this side over here, I went ahead and put it up just to make sure that the spacing right over here is going to be good, which it is. There's still some room here. I just kind of wanted to get the gist of how it would work. So to slide it down, just drop it just like that and it's locked into place. Absolutely ingenious. And to swing it up. If you haven't seen the system already, this is, see it's got this little star port here and it's got this little welded piece. So these are all basically different positions. This is the up position. And then you just swing it down and lock it into the upright. So that's the main two you're gonna be using. Okay, I hope you can see this, but I'm getting this bar here and your orange bar, when it goes into these two holes, that's your set screws that I'm about to set. But you've gotta see the orange color through both as you put this in. I don't know if you can tell this on the camera, but it just, Let's see, I'll try and back it out. I don't know if it's picking up, but they're both showing. So I'm about to get my Allen wrench and set both of these in. Okay, they're set. Okay, I've got that other side set that I just showed you. So what I'm going to do, because to make sure that this is even just as I'm measuring it, is I'm going to get a pencil and I'm going to just mark right up here so I'll know where it needs to go because right now while well, all I'm really worried about is I haven't drilled any holes I'm just right now trying to make sure that it's flush like this on both sides and it's perfectly perpendicular right where I want it and once I get this actual bar the whole system the whole back bar set up and the set screws in then I can put my plates on then I can start drilling but I've got to make sure this is straight and that this orange bar is through both of them bottom holes I showed you a second ago so that's just the way I did one side and I screwed in the set screws on that side made sure they were both like I showed you in the video and then on this side I put it in lined it up I marked it with a pencil and of course before I actually set the set screws I'll triple check and make sure that they're both in there both lined up with the bottom two holes okay there's my if you can see it there's my mark I made with my pencil so when I line this up if I just kind of hold it to, for a second and flip it you can see through that camera both the orange there's orange under both holes so we are good there so now I'm about to carefully line it up set the set screws and we know that then we're good to go just a quick tip when you set these set screws in one side is just actual screw and the other side has got a little allen wrench head if you can see that so make sure that that's facing out so you can screw it in I know it's just common sense but maybe it'll uh, save you at least a skip of taking it back out in case you didn't notice okay after you have it put together 
have the set screw set in it's good just to kind of set it in here one last time because you can never be too careful make sure that you can just put your hands on both sides of the boat the boat like this make sure it's level make sure it's not rocking with make sure it's completely good and level like that so now that that's set you have my set screws in it's completely level this bar is good i'm now going to put my plates down and i'm going to actually use my plates as a guide my pilot holes that's what i'm going to mark because as you can tell right here as you can tell look at all this margin of error if you don't perfectly put the hole right where this is going to be on the other other side you can put your hole here and this ain't going to line up so if you put this hole here if you use this as your guide then you'll know that when this comes underneath it's going to match up perfectly so let's line things up and start drilling i have found that the easiest thing if you're going to use this as your guide to use is a pencil because none, none of the magic markers i had would fit okay i've got it right here right here now i'm about to double check okay i hope you can see this because the sun's setting and it's pretty bright and i apologize for that if y'all have a hard time seeing but after i made my pencil marks to be very careful i went ahead and reinstalled this just to make sure that it lines up and once i have it over my imaginary holes right now that i'm still very happy with how the overall thing looks going straight down See, just going straight down. I'm very happy with that. And I did the same thing on the other side. I marked with my pencil. And then I put these brackets on. These black bases. I put them back over it to make sure that I'm happy with it. So now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and drill. That's the very next step. Here we go. Geronimo. Okay, the biggest size I had was a quarter of an inch. I had to step it up. That's the quarter of an inch hole and it still ain't quite big enough. So I learned this little trick from my brother. I just stick the screwdriver in here. A little flat, flat head I've got. Just twist. And it's like the perfect size. Just to, you know, fit it in there and get all this junk out. And it fits real good. Look at here, see that? Perfect. So I'm gonna do that to all four sides. Okay, I went ahead and reinstalled this right here. As you can see, it lines up great. So the holes line up on both sides. So now I'm gonna get that plate and it's gotta fit on the inside right here. And then one of these screws, the screw is gonna go right through that black bracket into this and this is what's gonna cinch it. This is the strength of it. This is what's gonna hold it. So. I'm going to reach in there, shimmy this in here, and I'll be right back with y'all. Okay, I've got like a five or six foot piece of wire here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the end here and fit it through this hole. Kind of just push it in. Just as much as I can. And reach back in that hole and feel for it and take it out. You got the rudder wire going through here, or rope rather, going through here as well. All right, I got it, see? It's like this on both ends. So now that I have the other side, I'm gonna get my bracket here. You always want it tied off, because if you drop this, this thing in there, that's gonna be a big pain trying to take it back out. So, I'm just do my best to kinda, not, I'm not tying this, I'm just kinda making a loop Something that I could pull out if I intentionally jerked on it hard, but not something that'll slip out while I'm trying to work it through. Here we go. There we go. Yeah, that should be good right there. See, it's not going to come out. So now I'm going to fish it through. Fishing it on that. You basically want to always have contact with the other side or with the plate rather sorry about the camera you always want to have contact with it okay I've got my brother here helping me uh, another 
<clears throat> another thing to keep in mind is to make sure that that hole I was getting difficulty threading in the screw through the small holes so what he's doing now is he's completely enlarging it I showed y'all earlier how I did it up top but he's going all the way through to make sure that that, that bolt just slides right in there so he's that's both making it wider and it's cleaning up all the burrs from the kayak drill and it makes a big difference okay this is showing you the much bigger hole see this screw here this bolt just drops just like that see how clean that is that's gonna make it so much easier when lying on that bottom plate earlier it was just kind of too tight so I'd have to, to actually thread this in there just to get to the plate and by the time it got to the plate there was all kinds of debris getting in the thread and that's why it wasn't going very smoothly so this should work out a whole lot better okay I managed to reach my arm in there having my brother here to help me I was able to hold it and that makes a world of difference of having someone to guide you of how to move that plate if your arm is long enough if not the wire option will work fine too but it definitely helps to have some help okay we use the wire on this one to pull it up right up against the edge of the boat and now it's caught so the hard part is now behind us another thing I wanted to mention I don't know if I had mentioned this earlier but yesterday when I was working on this I had this over here and when I opened this hatch and put my arm in and out really tore me up so it'd be it helped so much to get that out of your way because when you're working in this kind of a spot I mean even an inch makes the world a difference Thing I want to mention about this boondocks landing gear is just so y'all know as of right now it's like April the 7th or the 8th I ordered this on March maybe around March the 8th or 9th it took almost an exact month to get this in so right now they're very high demand so if you order around this time there's a good chance you'll be waiting on it but this gives you a chance to go ahead and look on how to install it so you can just hit the ground running as soon as it comes in this is what I was using before and it ain't the greatest and if, you, if you've used it, I mean it works and it's worked for me for a couple years now but I do like the idea of not having this in my scupper holes and not abusing it and then also the biggest pain would have to be when you're coming back in to lift it on the side I mean it's just such a hassle, you've got to unload all, have you, all your gear so this right here will now be history thanks to the boondocks landing gear Okay, my final thoughts on this on the boondocks landing gear is an absolute thumbs up it's a really amazing product I love how it's constantly on there and when you get out of the water you literally just drop your wheels and pull it out it's gonna run you about if you have the pro angler and you've got to actually spend the extra 15 bucks if you use Austin kayaks 15% uh, off coupon I got mine for about 224 227 uh, shipped to me so that's not bad for what it'll save you and the convenience of it and if you've already invested in, in, a, in a good fishing kayak that shouldn't be a problem so it's affordable and for what you get is absolutely worth it and maybe eventually if these if this system really take continues to go as strong as it has maybe some of these manufacturers will already maybe have some kind of pre-installed plate here with just you know like to do for the ram ball or other other things Scotty mounts, a lot of the manufacturers will kind of do a pre-mount. So if the manufacturers can really start putting that plate in there already for you on the bottom and have the holes, oh man, it would be, you can literally get it done in 10 minutes, 15 minutes. So I appreciate y'all watching. I hope it's helped y'all. I hope it'll make y'all's installation somewhat easier, maybe give y'all some ideas, or give y'all better ideas based on how I went about doing it. So thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe. Hope to get some uh, good fishing action for y'all here soon this summer. I live on the Gulf Coast, so very close proximity to saltwater fishing. So.